Hi everyone, let's begin a very interesting paper on meta-analysis and traditional systematic literature reviews, what, why, when, where, and how. This paper has been written by Professor Justin Paul and Mojitaba. And this was, this paper has been published on, it is received on 19 July, 2021, accepted on 1st March, 2022. And this paper is very interesting paper because it is giving clearly distinction between meta-analysis and traditional systematic literature review. And uh, how we are going to conduct meta-analysis and what is the difference between meta-analysis and uh, systematic literature review? We can see here, meta-analysis is a research method for systematically combining and synthesizing findings from multiple quantitative studies in a research domain. Right. But uh, if we will talk about SLR, so you can see SLR can provide author with an overview of research domain in a single paper. And this method is considered to be a scientific and highly informative method for systematically collecting, reviewing and synthesizing research findings on a particular topic. Next, we come to the we can see here traditional SLR. And uh, we can see traditional SLRs and uh, meta-analysis difference. And this is the table where we can uh, find all the difference, uh, differences like what, what, me, what traditional, uh, what is a traditional SLR and what do you mean by meta-analysis? You can just go through this and why. And why we are going to apply structure, this one is a systematic literature review and meta-analysis when we are going to apply and uh, where, and finally, we will get the answer how, how we are going to conduct SLR, how we are going to conduct meta-analysis. Then we uh, come to the meta-analysis. Here is how we can conduct meta-analysis. We can find the solution of this particular question. And meta-analysis process, we can see here, defining research question, formulating the main research question, data collection, how we are going to collect data, and uh, data preparation, how we're going to prepare this data. And data analysis for the meta-analysis framework, what is the, how we are going to uh, correlate and uh, calculate this and reporting. Finally, reporting. And we come to the, uh, this one is the meta-analysis, uh, a very elaborative table. Depth of knowledge of an idea, specify a valuable and feasible questions, develop meta-analysis framework. We can see all these are suggestions. Then the data collection, searching literature review, how we are going to um, search literature and uh, define inclusion, exclusion criteria, what could be exclusion and inclusion criteria in the, when we are going to include specifically quantitative research, which tested desired relationship. And uh, data coding and final sample description, how we have code the manual to code pairwise relationship, we have to see. Then finally, we are going to preparing this data, then data analysis, and finally, software to conduct a meta-analysis. So comprehensive meta-analysis, CMA, review manager, and uh, Stata are commercial softwares, but our packages for meta-analysis are free and open source. That is, you can use these softwares for meta-analysis. And finally, you're going to report this uh, particular uh, meta-analysis. What would be your title, abstract, introduction, background, and theoretical framework, method, data analysis, conclusion, and finally, appendix. And uh, then is the... Uh, they, all these things given in, uh, I mean, what kind of databases you are going to approach, Scopus, Web of Science, everything is written here, Web of Science Google, or Google Scholar, right? So that is already mentioned, inclusion, exclusion criteria are well defined and uh, uh, data preparation as well as effect size metric, each and everything is given a well defined paper this is. And uh, finally, you are going to, you can see the random effect model also, you can see homogeneity analysis. And uh, finally, you can, uh, you, you, will, you will report this and comprehensive meta-analysis review manager that is in detail already given. And this is the reporting of the meta-analysis uh, paper. How we are, what would be the headings? 
Uh, what could be the titles? Everything is given. Network analysis, machine learning and meta analysis. Everything is given here or well defined. And finally, like Bayesian analysis. And here is you can see network analysis, machine learning and meta analysis. And this is the conclusion of meta analysis. So I hope uh, this video would be helpful to you. I am going to give you um, th uh, this link in my description box so you can access this particular paper and this paper is free of cost is available that is published in psychology and marketing this is the Wiley publication and you can download this paper and you can read this paper and uh, you can apply in your meta analysis i hope this video would be helpful so keep watching stay tuned